Hi, my name is Delaine Padilla and today I'm going to share with you Centangle pattern number seven. As I said before, these patterns are not created by me. I just found them on the internet and I'm putting them all together in a collection for myself. I just want to share with you the step-by-step -step I take to draw each pattern. So let's start. To start with this pattern, the first thing we are going to do, we are going to draw a square. After we draw the square, we're going to draw a line that's going to start in a corner of the square and it's going to be just like so, like I'm showing here. For the next step, we're going to repeat everything. We're going to draw the square and the line we just did. And after that, we're going to draw another line. This line is going to start just where the last line ended. As you can see here, this line starts right here and ends here and the other one starts right where the first one ends and ends right here. And for step number three, we're going to repeat everything again. We're going to draw the square, we're going to draw the two lines we just did. And once again, we're going to draw another line. This third line is going to start once again where the previous line ended. And we're going to keep on repeating this pattern, meaning we're going to keep on drawing lines like so until we cover all the space or until we cover all the square. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw this same square but I'm going to draw it in kind of a grid I'm going to put a lot of squares together so you can see how this pattern looks. Like in most patterns, um, the design becomes a pattern when we keep on repeating the same thing over and over in one space. And this is the pattern, this is how it looks when we put them all together. Uh, we can draw the lines closer together or farther away and that will change the look of the pattern. Right now I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to repeat the pattern but the what I'm going to do different right now is that the first square I'm going to draw the lines in one direction and in the next square I'm going to draw the lines in the opposite direction. Um, in this square I'm going to start in the lower left corner of the square and I'm going to start drawing the lines in this direction. As you can see here, I drew the lines in this direction. They are all in this direction. And now I'm going to start in the upper left corner of the square. And I'm going to start to draw the lines in, in this direction. And now I'm going to start in the lower left corner of the square, like the first one we did. And now again we're going to start in the upper left corner of the square, like in the second square we did. 
And we're going to keep on repeating that pattern. One from the lower corner, lower left corner, and the next one from the upper left corner. And we're going to keep on repeating that over and over again. And here you have the pattern. It looks really interesting. It's a really simple pattern to draw, but it's a really interesting looking pattern. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a drawing using this pattern and I'm also going to incorporate both styles. One uh, where all the lines are towards the same direction and the other one where the lines are opposite one to another. I hope you like it. Let's start. At this point I have all the drawing all the lines in and now I'm going to start adding shades or shading with a graphite pencil and that's going to give it a little bit more of um, dimension to the pattern and it's going to be more detailed. Um, I'm going to do that with, uh, like I said, a graphite pencil. I'm going to do it all over um, the the signs and the patterns, and I'm I'm going to use an HB graphite pencil and a 4B graphite pencil. I am also going to use a black color pencil. I am also going to add a little bit of highlight with a white color pencil. And the 
this is the pattern, the step-by-step -step of the pattern, as you can see. It looks really complicated, but it, it's really easy. This is the design in one direction, and this is the design when you draw the lines in opposite directions. Um, and this is the drawing. You can see here the pattern using the same, the lines in the same direction. And in the background, I use the pattern um, with the lines in opposite direction. Uh, and that's what gives it uh, this wavy look. Well, I hope you like the pattern, the step-by-step, -step, and the drawing. The drawings are created by me, so if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be back with more Centangle patterns. And please comment and let me know what you think about the pattern, the drawing, and the video. Until next time, thank you for watching. You can find more videos like this in my channel. Also, I have organized them in playlists so you can find them easier. If you like this video, please subscribe so you can receive notifications of my next videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!